Hello everyone. Welcome to Automobile Engineering class. I am B. Rakesh, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department. In this session, I am going to explain uh, one topic that is wheel geometry. The term wheel geometry also known as front end geometry or steering geometry refers to the angular relation between suspension and steering parts front wheels and the road surface because alignment de deals with angles and affects steering the method of describing alignment measurements is called steering geometry or wheel geometry the wheel alignment refers to the relative positioning of the wheels for obtaining a true and free rolling movement over load. If the wheels were all mounted directly onto a vehicle at right angles, then that vehicle would actually be very difficult to handle. It would steer poorly and would be particularly dangerous at high speeds. <coughs> Moreover, the tires will exhibit rapid wear. Accordingly, several wheel alignment factors require consideration of a sample steering, reliable handling, smooth control, and favorable tire wear characteristics may be obtained. <coughs> the important wheel alignment factors are first one is camber angle, second one caster angle. Third one is steering axle inclination. Last one is toe in and toe out. Depending upon the design of suspension system, it is possible to adjust some of these factors like camber angle, caster angle, steering axis inclination, toe in and toe out. Also, some of the factors are changed with the operation of suspension. Now let us discussing about uh, <coughs> uh, each each factor. First one is camber angle. <coughs> the camber angle is the angle between the vertical line and center line of the tire when viewed from the front of the vehicle. Uh, here, uh, these are the three different positions in this red color indicate the uh, <coughs> uh, Here red, red, red color indicates the center line of the tire and green color indicates the uh, vertical line of the ground When the wheels tilt outward at the top the camber is positive you can see this angle in this figure when the wheel tilt outward at the top, the camber is positive, and when the wheel is wheel, the tilt is inward, the camber is negative. There is no angle; uh, it gives neutral camber. <coughs> the camber of a wheel will change slightly for different load conditions and with up and down movement of the wheel on rough roads. A vehicle's, a vehicle's weight may cause the wheels to tilt inward. Therefore, certain vehicles use camber to compensate for tilting of the wheels. The positive camber is used to counteract this type of tilting. The zero camber gives maximum tire life since the tire tread contact the road surface equally on both both side of the tire <coughs> the camber the camber should not be more than 2 degrees because this causes uneven or more tire wear on one side than on other side the camber angle may be changed by worn or loose ball joints control arm bushings wheel bearings and operation of the suspension 
uh, you can observe this camber angle this animated figure this is the negative camber this is zero camber this is a positive camber <coughs> the positive camber or negative camber also places the center line center line of the wheel closer to the steering axis steering axis means you can draw the line uh, line up two ball joints this is the kingpin axis or steering axis the distance between the wheel center line uh, they in intersect at road surface is called as uh, camber offset or scrub radius second one is caster angle <coughs> The caster is an angle uh, when view when viewed from the side of the car between the wheel steering axis. See here, this is the steering axis and the vertical axis. The angle between the vertical axis and steering axis is called caster angle. The angle is it. This angle is a directional control angle and can be either positive or negative. The caster is positive when the steering axis is tilted backward and is uh, and the caster angle is negative when the steering axis is tilt, tilted forward. The positive camber generates a steering align, aligning torque which gives the vehicle directional stability it tends to force the wheels to travel in a straight ahead position and it also assists in return of the wheels to the straight ahead position after a turn has been made the excessive caster angle will make the steering heavier and less responsive although in racing uh, large caster angles are used to improve camber gain in cornering. Next one is <coughs> steering axis inclination. The steering axis inclination is the angle between the uh, steering axis. Steering axis means the line drawn through the axis of ball joints and the vertical line this angle is called steering axis inclination it is the angle between uh, vertical axis and steering axis uh, this inward tilt or inclination tends to keep the wheel straight ahead it also help the return of the wheels to the straight ahead position after the turn has has been made the steering axis inclination is sometimes called as kingpin inclination because the older vehicles were fitted with a component called kingpin which acts as a steering axis the kingpin the kingpins are still available on large size trucks etc when the steering wheel is turned the front of the vehicle is actually tilted up by a small amount when the uh, when the driver releases the steering wheel the weight of the vehicle actually tries to turn the wheels back to the straight ahead position therefore the wheels tends to straighten themselves after coming out of a curve it may be noted that the force generated as a result of the steering axis inclination to move the wheels back is known as steering alignment torque. The steering axis inclination also helps in reducing excessive camber as it brings the wheels center line and the steering and the steering axis center line closer together where they intersect the road surface this in turn reduce the force required to steer the vehicle kingpin inclination and caster are used to improve directional stability in cars
<coughs> this is also used to reduce steering effect when steering is stationary it reduces tire wear uh, this inclination varies from 4 to 8 degrees in modern cars the camber angle plus and the steering axis inclination is known as combined angle or included angle last one is tow in and tow out Uh, when the wheels are <coughs> <coughs> when the front when the front ends of the front wheels are inward they are said to be toe in position when wheels are toed in uh, distance between their front ends are front ends is lesser than the distance between the back ends for example you can assume uh this is the d1 distance this is the d2 distance d1 is less than d2 when the front ends of the front wheels are outward they are said to be toe out position when the wheels are toed out the distance between their front ends is greater than the distance between their back ends that is d1 greater than d2 in in automotive engineering toe also known as tracking this can be contrast with steer which is the anti symmetric angle uh, that is both wheels point to the left or right in parallel positive toe or toe in is the front of the wheels pointing in toward the center line of the vehicle negative toe or toe out is the front front of the wheels pointing away from the center line of the vehicle next one is effects of incorrect alignment <coughs> the problem is incorrect camber setting the effect on vehicle is uneven tire wear vehicle pulls to the side of the most positive or lost negative camber if the problem is incorrect toe in effect on vehicle is excessive tire wear unstable steering if the problem is uneven toe in vehicle tends to pull to one side if the problem is incorrect steering axis inclination <coughs> effect on vehicle is instability of vehicle poor steering recovery vehicle pull to side of lesser inclination hard steering if the problem is too much caster angle uh, the effect on vehicle is hard steering excessive road shock wheel shimmy if the problem is insufficient caster the effect on vehicle is instability at high speeds if the problem is unequal caster angle effect on vehicle is vehicle pulls to the side of the most caster this is the brief discussion about wheel geometry I hope this is very clear to everyone. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates.